Custom widgets allow you to create screen areas in a workspace dashboard that show information relating to the current filtered attribute value. For example, to show information about a particular employee in a resource workspace, or to show information about a particular supplier in an accounts payable based workspace. They are custom because you decide which fields from the relevant master file you want to include and how the information is laid out and whether to include an image. The information shown on the screen for Claire Little comes from her personnel record. It is captured in a desktop browser template and then that is used as the source of the information. In ERPX, you can use information browsers as the source of data. But for ERP7, desktop browsers still need to be used. In this video example, we will be adding a supplier information custom widget to a workspace. We will use a portfolio to select the supplier value we want. We have a gap in our dashboard where we will put our custom widget. Before you create your widget, you need to have your data source, which is a desktop browser. And in order to know which values need to be in the browser, you need to ensure you are familiar with the fields in the relevant master file which fields you want to show in the widget. Once you've decided which fields you want in the widget, you can create the browser in desktop from the relevant starting inquiry. In this case, it will be the suppliers inquiry. For speed, I've already created this browser template in desktop. You can see it contains lots of fields from the supplier master file, and two of the records, Elite Furniture and Mega Construction Limited, have a complete set of data. They also have images uploaded to a logo document type. To start, in web, click Common, Widgets, and then Custom Widgets. In the screen, you'll see any widgets you've previously created, and you'll see the Create Widget option. Click Create Widgets, and then give the widget a name. We will choose the type as Single View, because we only want to view the information for a single attribute at a time. The description is mandatory, so must be entered. If you wish to create a subset of widgets, then you can add a category, and this will then be visible in the custom widget screen, as we'll see. We will choose our source type as browser template, and then choose the supplier's custom widgets template that has been created. The context column is the column in your browser that will be used as a filter to select the relevant supplier. In the portfolio, the user will select the supplier ID, so that is what we will choose here. Click OK to save your widget setup, and to return to the custom widget screen. You can see that a supplier category has been created, so our widget will appear in both the all and supplier categories. Click design to start designing your widget. The designer is split into four main areas. In the middle of the screen is your canvas, which represents your widget. At the top left are some components that you can add into your canvas. At the bottom left are the various columns of information from your browser template and on the right are the properties for the component you are currently interacting with. Let's add a border by dragging a rectangle onto the canvas and then amending it using the tools and properties provided. Next, we will add an image to the canvas. You can select to add a free image, which means that the image will be the same for any supplier that is selected, or you can choose to link the image to a component. The component in this case is the supplier logo document type connected to the supplier ID. We will resize this again using the freehand controls and the properties on the right. If you wish to add some static text, such as a header, then drag the label component to the canvas, change the text, and make it the style you wish using the properties on the right. In the same way, you can add any of the custom components to your canvas. Simply drag one onto the canvas and you will see a label and the value. Move them into position and change the style using the properties on the right. Remember to save frequently as there is no undo, and if your screen crashes while you're designing your widget, the changes since your last save will be gone. The next step is to add your new widget to your dashboard. Go into Common Workspaces and then Dashboard Setup. Locate your dashboard and click the Dashboard Designer. Click into your spare space or make a spare space for your widget to appear. In the widget gallery, you will see an all category and any other categories you might have made. Our supplier information widget sits in both of those categories. 
Select the widget, then click Add Widget, and it will fill the space in your dashboard. The dashboard designer automatically saves, so now it's time to test our new widget by using a supplier portfolio. If I now go into my supplier information portfolio, click on a supplier ID and then choose the dashboard from my workspace, I find that the supplier information has the specific information from my supplier master file and the relevant logo. I can see here that the supplier name field isn't quite wide enough. If you go back to your custom widget designer and make any changes, those will be captured and updated in real time on your dashboard, which is really useful for making changes. I'm just going to make the other fields bigger as well as they are quite small on the screen. Here is the final custom widget for Mega Construction Limited. And you can see that it changes when I select Elite Furniture as the supplier. There are a couple of different options when it comes to adding URLs to your custom widget. If you drag in the web content component, you can add a static URL to your image. That means that it won't change from, in this case, supplier to supplier, it will just be the same. If you want a URL that changes, you will have to make sure that that URL exists on the master file. So in this case, there is a URL in the contact information for the supplier. I've dragged in that component, and now that will, of course, change depending on which supplier I select. The web content component will be a clickable link, whereas the master file URL will not be clickable, but you can highlight it, right-click, and then open in your browser. 